one of the biggest time wasters that I could think of that truly you engage in it, you know, a person engages in it, not you necessarily, because I know how you are. Um, but it's it's easy to get sucked into it and you feel like you're you're accomplishing something when you really truly are not. And in fact, you're doing the opposite. You may even be hurting yourself. And that is getting sucked into um we'll call them philosophical debates, because that's all they really are, with roofing contractors. I mean, it's usually roofing contractors most of the time. Or PAs. And that's the situation where they say, oh, well, I mean, how can you say this isn't a hail hit? You know, and then you start into the, talking about what hail damage is. And I mean, you can, you can give them a little bit of education, but then it turns into, you know, you start going down rabbit holes and then they start bringing up other things, pointing at other things. Well, what about this? 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 And the next thing you know, it's 30 minutes later and you know, you got this, it's, you've wasted 30 minutes or more talking about things that you just can't do anything about. One of the things I learned early on, there was this guy that had this YouTube channel and he had this video and he talked about, don't argue with contractors. I don't know who that guy was. That was my first video. I will say that when I first started, I, I, I got sucked into some arguments with contractors. Um, Oh, I did too, for sure. You know, it, it, it happens. Um, because we don't want to be doubted we want to be feel like that we're the expert and we nobody likes their knowledge questioned it's not fun you know it's it's just you know like especially when you're brand new because you're trying to earn respect in the business and and so it it's you get offended and and also we live in a society that's also easily offended these days but that's another rabbit hole but the um but the here's the the long and short of it is this Three different adjusters can look at the same roof and come up with three different estimates. Okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. It's just what happens. So to sit there and think that you have to be right is wrong. Okay. Just sit there and go, hey, man, I'll note it. I'll put it in my report that this is what you feel that it is. I'll let let the uh, insurer make the decision. That's what I do. You know, I do it a lot, you know. Um, at the end of the day, it's still what I write in my report. It's still what I come up with is what they're going to go with. <clears throat> they're also smart enough to know that they can also order, you know, most of the time they can get a reinspection if they don't agree with you. And they can request a different adjuster come out if they don't like you. And they, you know, my favorite line with a, with a contractor is, well, tell me why. You know, tell me why. You know, and I wait for their answer and I shut up and I don't say a word. And I say, man, you got to yes. sell that to me. You need to sell that to me so I can sell it to the carrier. And I'll write down whatever it is that you tell me right now. You know, and I let them talk and I let them feel good. And I still write up what I'm going to write up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but if right? he convinces me, if he convinces me, then, you know, I'll, I'll take it into consideration. I'll say, you know, what? you've got a good point, you know. But when you're sitting on a roof, you know, if you've got collateral damage on a roof and you have damage, that those are no-brainers. Those are, those are the easy yeah. ones to deal with. <clears throat> but what happens sometimes is that you'll have no collateral damage whatsoever anywhere. You don't have any spatter on the satellite dishes, things like that. And a guy sitting there just pointing out hell left and right. And you're looking at this stuff, and sometimes it looks like it could be hell. Okay, it looks like it could be, you know, and you're not yeah. sure. All right. That big. Yeah. But at the same time, you still have to sit there and say to him, you know, sir, I, I don't have any collateral damage to support this, you know. Um, but I just don't argue with them. I'll mark it. I don't circle my hell marks. I put a slash underneath it because the international sign of hell is a circle around a spot. You know, I'll just put a slash underneath it. Okay. I'm not committing that it's hell. I'm not saying it's not hell. I'm marking it. I'll take the pictures, okay? You and I had a discussion, a text message back and forth about this the other day. I just put wind equals zero slash equals eight, you know, <laughs> because I'm really convinced it was yeah. hell. And then I turned it in and let them yeah. do it. But I'm not going to make, I'm not going to argue with the guy. I'm not going to put myself in a position where I have to fight with a guy on a roof. You know, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm just going to be as cordial as I can be. I'm going to let him say what he wants to say. I'm going to have him to sell it to me. But I'm not going to argue. I've had PAs do this to me. I've had, I've had contractors do it to me. I've had PAs show up with a cameraman and a microphone, 
a guy with a boom mic because I guess he was trying to do his own his own podcast. I don't know what he was doing, but he was trying to rope me into a corner, and I just let it go, man. I just just let it. I just yeah. did my job, and uh, but you don't have to argue with him. It's not your job to argue with him, you know. And no, it's not, not worth getting upset over. Don't waste your time, you know. Uh, I used to, I used to say smug things like. Well, yeah, we may disagree, but at least one of us gets paid for being here today. You know, I mean, I, I came up with that. Last time. <laughs> I got on my nerves. But even now, as I have matured in this business, I don't even do that anymore. I just, um, I just ask them sell it to me so I can sell it to the insurance company. As an adjuster, you need to know more than just how to read an HO3 policy and how to sketch a three-level house in Xactimate. You also need to know how to tell hail damage from wear and tear on composition shingles. The number one resource for damage identification books, trainings, and certifications is Hague Education. Not only that, but they provide building inspection and desk adjuster trainings and certifications as well. These are the guys who make the classic Hague Damage ID books that I used for years to educate myself, my insureds, and quite a few roof sales guys on what is damage that we can pay for, and everything else. Looking at you, Bird Poop. Get a discount on all books, tools, certifications, and other trainings with the code ADJUSTERTV at checkout at hagueducation.com. You know what's boring? Insurance policies. You know what's not boring? More Adjuster TV vids right here.